closer and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. Okay, we can talk from this distance, don't worry. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. Just clear. Okay, okay, just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Where are they? Um, what's been going on? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the Chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. Okay, what else do you know about the deaths, hmm? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Yep, and they are indeed invisible. Is there anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the <coughs> rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Okay. Um. What do you think is. Or who do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. Wow, okay, you need to rest, old man. Before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a Kami ghost and so forth. Why do they call you Nobark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. Okay. Goodbye. I got a I got a bet to tend to, old man. I'm no longer well rested. That, yeah, you are now well rested. I was about to say. Yeah, I've already been here. Move, girl. Who are you? Daisy Whitman. Hello? Howdy. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Who the fuck are you? Were you a pilot? Vertebird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. What do you do here? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. All right. Did you fly for the NCR? Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Okay. Goodbye. A little weird, but sure.
Oh, the caravan moves on, I guess. Well, Willow, you're always in the way. Where are you going? What is she doing? Wait, what? Don't tell me I'm too late. What time is it now? Where can I see that? Can I see that here? 23. Huh. We should still be f good, I think. Now we wait, people. Now it's a waiting game. We don't have to wait too long. I have Willow at my side. Because if you're alone, kind of anticipating, maybe a little bit nervous even. Especially the first time, since you don't know what, what you're going to get. I know what's going to come, but, you know. <laughs> so Willow, how are you doing? Well, almost midnight. Let's see if we can identify the holes. The bullet holes. I actually cannot. Yeah, two more minutes until midnight. Now, he probably won't come exactly at midnight, but around that time. Probably not earlier. Now, like I said, he's invisible. I sure miss Big George sometimes. He was such a great dog. Yeah, but you can, like, see his silhouette, I guess? I sometimes see wind and stuff, and I like, is that him? Like, no. Oh, wait, wait. There he is. Come back here, dude. Get him! Kill him. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Good job, Willow. Good job. Now we're gonna check him out for a bit. Yep, these night skin dudes are horrible. Horrible. What's that? Scream of a Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomparable psychotic gibberish. It seems to express general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head. Okay, this guy was apparently crazy. So let's talk to Dusty.
Find anything? Yup. No one's going to attack your. Well, I don't know how you found it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. Oh. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Why, thank you. Ooh. So long. Novak fame. Folks are going to accept you for your helpful nature. Nice. What'd you got? Well, they weigh a lot, though. I guess I really do need the, um... More weight perk. See now how important that is. Now let's slowly go over there with that facility or factory. Look for ghouls. Doesn't really matter that it's night because we're going inside the building anyway. Oh my god. There's a dead one over here. Oh god. Glowing one, huh? What's that? I should probably change my weapon, I realize. This is really not all that good. Do I not have, like, another one that has 10mm? Do I not have a 10mm rifle? I guess not. Wait, this is not it. Well, we got enemies. Hold on. Oh, no way. We do need to actually go through here. Kill that motherfucker. Reloading. Get rid of that glowing... Good job. Quickly loot this one before. Oh. Oh. God. Damn it. Problem, of course, with having Willow on my side is that I won't get as much experience since I don't kill all the enemies, but you know how it is. Wow, I actually hit him. Doesn't seem to me like we can actually go up there. You probably can by the, the other side. Affected. Interesting. Execute him. <laughs> yeah. Fucking close range. Yup, you're dead. And you are also a custom uh, 
unit, I'm pretty sure. Ah, there was another knight skin. Yeah, because that club is actually the weapon of a knight skin. Makes sense. What's this? Ooh. Drugs. Always nice. That cool. Hey, thank you. A plasma defender. Sure, why not? I actually equip that immediately. Especially since. Okay, laser pistol also does that, but. Nice. Very nice. Let's see how much time. Now well, about five minutes. Guess we get no. Oh, guess we can get into the factory before I'm done. Oh wow! Look at this. Physics. Ah, oh, that is sexy. Alright, nothing there. I don't remember this one. I don't know if this is a custom weapon or not. I don't think so. I don't think I have, like, custom weapon mods installed. Could be wrong, though. Where's Willow? Good job, girl. What the hell? Oh, we got shit. Well, I think this is definitely custom. Whoa. Why do they fall so easily? Is that... Was that always the case? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Hell? You better get rid of that quick. Oh, goodbye. Give me that experience, boy. Almost level nine. I right, leveled up. Nice. Well, obviously we're going to get this one to 50, so now I can do the medium ones, the average. Also, I want this up. Alright, we got those to 10. Alright, pretty happy with that. No thanks. Hmm. Alright, yeah, I guess this is, this is a big area, so I want to explore this later. So, it was a short playthrough today, but like I said, I have things to do, so I'm going to end it here. See you guys next time.